And very interesting effect of surface tension is when you try to do laundry. Now, I don't know how many of us are laundry buffs or get really getting to do, doing laundry, but it really comes down to, here's, let's say, a piece of cloth. Here are the fibers of the cloth, and of course, they have little holes in them. And in order to be able to do laundry and get the dirt and the grime out of the clothes, water has to be able to pass through those little holes. What happens is because of surface tension, water has a very difficult time getting through the hole. So because the, as a drop tries to make it through, let's say two fibers like that, it forms kind of a droplet at the bottom. The surface tension causes it to hold fast right there. And of course it has this upward force and you have to be able to force the water through that. So one way is through a lot of agitation, a lot of agitation causes that to break down and get water through that. Another way to do that is to heat up the water because as we can see the coefficient of surface tension for water at 20 degrees centigrade which is 68 degrees Fahrenheit room temperature is 72.8 dynes per centimeter but as you see as you heat up the water the surface tension gets smaller at the boiling point of water it's even less than that so the preferred way would be if you want to do a better job doing laundry and getting the the water into the fine crooks and crannies and between the cloth and the dirt you want to heat up the water However, the effect of heating up the water isn't quite as good as adding soap to the water. Notice that when you add soap to the water, the coefficient goes way down. It's only 25 dynes per centimeter, even at 20 degrees centigrade. So, uh, doing laundry with soap, you can see the obvious advantage. You can get the water through the little holes much easier and get it between the grime, the dirt, and all that, and the clothing so that it can lift up the dirt and, and work better that way. So, if you want to do a perfect job, there's no such thing as a perfect job, of course, but then if you want to do the best job possible, you heat both the water and you add soap to the water, and of course you have the best result when you do laundry. But see how the simple forces of nature have an effect in our daily life when we don't even realize it. And we may have been adding soap to our laundry for many years and probably don't know even why we're doing it. But without that, it would be much more difficult to get the dirt out of the, um, out of the clothes. Of course, all the aroma and the smell that you get out of the soap doesn't hurt either. But that's surface tension in the nutshell.